2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz year-long review, can it tow a boat? Real trucks can tow boats. So, is the 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz a real truck? If your towing needs involve lugging big campers or horse trailers to an equestrian competition, you're likely going to buy a big, sturdy, body-on-frame truck. But for most people who have something a lot smaller to tow, like a light fishing boat that needs to be launched and then pulled out of the water, a smaller pickup usually suffices. Our long-term 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz is one such smaller truck, riding on the same car-based platform as the Hyundai Tucson Compact Crossover, but with decent 8.6 inches of ground clearance and all-wheel drive, the pickup was engineered to handle modest recreational towing. The lower SE and cell trims, with the standard 191 horsepower 2.5 liter i4 engine, can only tow up to 3,500 pounds but our long-term Santa Cruz cell with the premium package comes with the more powerful 281 horsepower 2.5 liter turbocharged i4 and 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. AWD is also standard on the turboed Santa Cruz, and the truck is pre-wired for towing, all of which increases its towing capacity to 5,000 pounds. Before we could head for the pristine waters of Northern Ontario, we needed to get an aftermarket trailer hitch installed on our Santa Cruz as it was delivered without one. It cost $489.59 for a hitch and all the fixings. 2-inch ball, wiring, pin, clip, and connectors, as well as installation, at a local U-Haul. For anyone ordering a 2023 Santa Cruz today, we'd recommend saving a few bucks and specing a tow hitch for $450, or opt for the $700 tow and go package, which adds some steel protection plates to better resist against impact or road debris. Tow, tow, tow your boat. Once our Santa Cruz was ready to go to work, we headed across the northern border where an editor's 16-foot smokercraft aluminum fishing boat was waiting to get wet. Hooking up our boat trailer to the Santa Cruz was easy. The rear camera with parking guidelines provides an image of the area behind the truck, trailer and all, though there notably isn't a center hitch guideline as is found on many other pickups. There aren't fancy tech features to do the maneuvering for you either, but the visual is helpful. The towing was even easier. The 1,200-pound boat didn't prove much of a challenge for our Santa Cruz. If it weren't for the rattle of the trailer on the cottage road, you would be hard-pressed to know you were towing. Despite the lack of a tow slash haul mode, the Hyundai didn't skip a beat as we headed for the municipal boat ramp. The towing was even easier. The 1,200-pound boat didn't prove much of a challenge for our Santa Cruz. If it weren't for the rattle of the trailer on the cottage road, you would be hard-pressed to know you were towing. Despite the lack of a tow slash haul mode, the Hyundai didn't skip a beat as we headed for the municipal boat ramp where a toonie, a Canadian $2 coin, in a drop box covered the cost of usage. Hyundai says the Santa Cruz's rear shocks are also calibrated to maintain a constant ride height with heavy loads, but our boat was not sufficient to truly test it. A better trial will come when we hook up the 3,400-pound motor trend party trailer which we tow to events like roadkill nights. We will update you when we get a chance to do some heavier-duty party hauling and truly test our Santa Cruz's truck credentials.